What did I try to write that I didn't write? So far, nothing. I take a long time. And maybe if I took less time, I would write more or I'd have more books. But I never know when I start how long it's going to take. I feel if you do something well, if you make something well, if you, you build something that has substance, it can be read tomorrow, it can be read next week, it can be read next year, if it's a good story. And there's always a story. It's never, never, never possible that there's no story. There is a story if you look for it. It isn't what you think the story is. It's what the story is if you, if you have a big picture in your head. The possibilities are enormous. So this is the constant curiosity. That's essential for a journalist to be curious. I believe that there's no substitute for seeing the people you're talking to. I believe there's no substitute for going to the place you want to write about. You have to physically be there. Now it's inconvenient sometimes. It takes a you know it, it takes energy. It sometimes takes money. It takes a lot of um, uh, patience. But I don't think if you're caring about what you do, those things I mentioned are not important. You have to do it in person. Yeah. You have to see people. You can't avoid it. And when you're there, you establish a relationship. It's like going out with a girl on a, on a date. You have to knock on the door and you meet her. And would you like to take a walk or want to talk? And little by little by little, you get to know that person better and better and better. And more things come of it. Come of it. And sometimes it doesn't have to be an exciting story. It doesn't have to be a dramatic story. It can be a good little story. But sometimes if it's really well written, it will find readership, I believe, in the future because it's the way it's written. And a story, if it's, if, it's, if it's picturesque, if it has a sense of character and a sense of personality and a sense of realism, it has a long life, I think. Na Folha, reportagem sobre desdobramentos da CPI do Cachoeira, que começa a envolver governadores e mais empresas em suspeitas de corrupção. Uma boa noite e uma ótima semana.